Republican campaign rocked by gay extortion attempt. The GOP candidate said that the video came from a brief moment I struggled with my sexuality. Excuse me? <laughs> so, already, like, just from that title, I have so many questions. But apparently, he was caught on tape doing something bad, presumably, and he's fessing up. Apparently, he's not working with the blackmailers or he's refusing to comply with their demands. So he's expecting this to be released and he's trying to kind of, I guess, soften the blow, no pun intended, by uh, explaining how, look, it was just a brief moment where I went a little bit gay. But that's not indicative of me or, you know, my sexual orientation. No, I just struggled for a little bit. Sure, sure Jan. Jan. Um, so... <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be a banger. Okay, let's let's read a little bit from this. A self-described strong Christian uh, and conservative Republican candidate for Wisconsin State Assembly is speaking out after he says he was blackmailed by someone who had a video of him performing oral sex on another man. Okay, listen. That's not the gayest thing that you can do with another man. But is it up there? I would argue yes. Peter Schmidt won the Republican primary for Wisconsin's Assembly District 6 by 63 votes earlier this month. But just after the primaries were held, news about a criminal complaint he filed with the Shawano County Sheriff's Department in 2019 broke. Oh, so this is from 2019. Where So, so the article is from 2022. Seems like uh, the news about the blackmailer is getting out now um, that he's the candidate. So according to the report, an employee of Schmidt's family farm, Schmidt Ponderosa Farm, told Schmidt that he had a video of the Republican performing oral sex on a man, ew, and that he would send the video to Schmidt's family if he didn't get $50,000. Schmidt negotiated with the alleged blackmailer and got the price down to $5,000. Wow, so you really, you know how to, you know, bargain. You know, this is the art of the deal right here. If you don't give me... If <laughs> If you don't give me $50,000, everyone in your family is going to see this video of you sucking cock. He's like, how about 25, 30, no, 15, no, 10. And then it gets down to 5,000. Okay. So did he pay it? Oh, he didn't. So he still didn't pay the blackmailer and he told his family himself. So he sort of like came out to his family. And look, that's, that's a little bit fucked up because to come out in that way, you don't really want to be outed. You want to be able to control the decision. But based on what we know, seems like he wasn't planning on coming out. So he says, I was the victim of a crime, but I've put the matter behind me and I focused on my faith. Uh, Schmidt said to Wiss Politics, a local news site. I'm a strong conservative and a Christian, but there was a brief moment I struggled with my sexuality. Press X to doubt. Chat. How many of you believe him? Press X if you doubt. Press A if you believe him. <laughs> no one should be uh, persecuted or smeared for their personal orientation. Okay, you know, credit words do. It doesn't necessarily seem like uh, this is one of those instances where an anti-gay conservative was busted with his pants down. You know, this isn't a Ted Haggard situation. So he doesn't necessarily seem like he's bigoted, perhaps because he does have these skeletons in his closet. But I've got to ask the question. And, you know, maybe this isn't necessarily politically correct, but does this look like a straight man to you? I mean, let's let's be serious here, OK? No bullshit. Is this the face of a straight man who smashes vagina on the reg? Does anyone... Does anyone actually think that this is the case? Look at the shirt that he's wearing, by the way. No other candidate. Look, I rest my case. I rest my case. Now, I'm a little bit curious. I do want to check out his Twitter just to see. Let me see if I could find it first because I want to know more. I'm, I'm absolutely intrigued by this candidate. But um, let me see if I could find him really quick. If anyone can beat me to it. I found the Ballotpedia here. So he doesn't have a photo. Uh, he does have a campaign website. Let's see what his policy is. Life, liberty, happiness. Um, so I'm not, you should be there at the bottom. I'm not seeing links to social media. So he just uh, might not be on Twitter, but let me see what he's about. 
Freedom and liberties. Okay, this just seems like a bunch of platitudes. Um, community to serve. I mean, are there any policies? I should probably sign up for this. Um. <laughs> Don't. No, I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, Barty Macbeth. Email address. At AOL.com. Okay. I will subscribe to his email list. Maybe I'll learn more about him. Um, his domain provider, by the way, is GoDaddy. This is a sign that he's homosexual. Daddy, chill. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything. Like, I don't want to read that a huge blurb about him, but like, shop. He doesn't have anything in his shop. So, I mean, this is a really grassroots campaign. Uh, I mean, we've got we've got nothing. Standing up to protect. Oh, okay, okay. It cut it off. Is that on purpose? Is that because of my window? Yeah, it's because of my window. I thought it was going to say, standing up to protect, I attack. Something like that. But that's kind of a dead meme by now. But I have taken the commitment to provide resources to the younger generation so that they may live the Wisconsin dream. Uh, I want to understand the activity. Da, 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 da. So, look, really what we're looking for is clues that he might be a raging homosexual. I'm a dairy farmer who supports the Second Amendment. Okay, here's some policies. Second Amendment, law enforcement. Okay, so he's a bootlicker. That's a kink. So is it exclusively homosexual? Not necessarily, but it is a kink nonetheless to be a boot uh, bootlicker. And election integrity. Okay, that right there is a huge red flag. He's a massive uh, conspiracy theorist. Like, just from that, like, before maybe pre-2020, you can deduce that, okay, this person wants, like, you know, to make sure that there's not voter suppression and wants to make sure that citizens have the ability to audit the vote and supports electoral reform, yada, yada. But now whenever somebody says election integrity, they mean that like, oh, well, if I lose, I'm just going to claim that the election was stolen as Laura Loomer did after she lost her election. Narrowly, by the way, which should scare everyone, but that's kind of a different story for a different day. My aim is to rediscover one of the founding principles that have served us so well for so long. A free society. Join me in this fight. And the photo is dead. Okay, look. I'm not getting that much out of it. So, I unfortunately, I have to gauge whether or not he sufficiently has moved on from his brief struggle with homosexuality based on the photograph. And I think it's, in, it's incriminating. I, I can't, based on what I know, and that is this photograph, conclude that this is somebody who's over struggling with same-sex attraction i'm sorry i just can't he's still uh he's still struggling all right he's struggling a lot and like you can just see why is okay you can just see he has this urge to like put on um a tiara and just go full queen like he's probably one of those gays uh similar to myself to where when you get drunk you start like straight up prancing around um you get in like happy mode. I feel like he's probably that same way as well. Although looking at my face, it's it's less gay than his for sure. I do have a gay face, but it's less gay than his for sure. But if like we can find a way to like measure his skull. No, no, okay. We're getting into dangerous territory. Um, look, I'm going to conclude that he's gay. Seems like the chat is in agreement with me. Um, I think he's gay. So um, I'm sorry that you once struggled with homosexuality, but brother, embrace the homosexuality because you are very very gay yeah gay face isn't to be clear gay face is not a pejorative um gay people are incredible um i would know uh, we're doing gay phrenology <laughs> that's why i backed away okay okay i get credit i noped out of that conversation when i started to go down that path okay so i get credit for that but yeah i, I mean like i'm not shitting on him uh, and I don't want to be too down on him because if he were one of these Republicans who's like, homosexuality is a sin, and then he's like caught blowing a dude, then it's like, okay, we're sounding the alarm. But he's no Jesse Lee Peterson. He seems like somebody who's just gay and not ready to come out. Perhaps one day he will. I mean, I'm not necessarily sure how old he is, but perhaps later on in life, he'll realize he's tired of living like, you know, um, a lie and he'll come out possibly. He's an incel now, perhaps. Yeah, Bark, I think that's actually a pretty um, a pretty good thing to speculate or a pretty accurate description of a lot of these older gays, I think. Like, Lindsey Graham, I mean, nobody thinks he's an incel. Everybody knows that he's gay, but perhaps he's a gay incel and he's forcing himself to remain abstinent because 
you know, he thinks it's a sin and his party would reject him. But I mean, this is why, you know, if you are a gay person, you shouldn't caucus with the Republican Party. You should not be a member of the Republican Party because you are going to be forced to remain in the closet because they fucking hate you. And they've made that especially clear over the course of the last couple of years. So I'm sad that this individual feels as if he can't be himself. But, you know, to be frank, you're not fooling anyone, bro. Not fooling a single person. So, um, yeah, we'll be praying for you, uh, Peter. Definitely be praying for you. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the Come Zone. Come. 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 Come.